tangled up in power lines and then erupted in flames. As Stephanie Galehart tells us tonight, a Collier County man is being called a hero after helping the truck driver escape with his life. I saw sparks flying on the guy's truck under the wires. There's smoke coming out of the truck, so I was, uh, I was just like, you know, you need to get out now. I didn't know if it was electrified or not, so, uh, you know, I just wanted to make sure that the guy got out straight. Keith Markham shot that dramatic video moments after he helped rescue the truck driver, Rick Middleton. I, I knew what had to be done, so I just, you know, was going to make sure that the guy went home for dinner. The 48-year-old is a former electrical lineman from Wisconsin, so he told Middleton exactly what to do so he wouldn't be electrocuted. But just, you know, come out on the step, and, you know, I just want you to keep your hands together and just jump clear. So, uh, you know, he wouldn't uh, uh, be touching the truck at the same time that he touched the ground. So, if you do it that way, you'll be okay. And the driver is okay. Still, Markham is modest about saving his life. You know, after people started showing up, I said, well, it's time for me to go. And, you know, I shook the guy's hand and said, I'm glad you're all right. <laughs> so. The accident knocked out power to more than 800 FPL customers in Fort Myers. Some people were in the dark for as long as four hours. In Fort Myers, Stephanie Galehard, Wink News Now. And tonight, Fort Myers Fire Rescue tells us the exact cause of that accident is still under investigation. Thank <laughs> you.